what is the difference really um, between the life of a Jew and the life of a non-Jew? On a regular day, what the main, what should I be focus on, fo focusing on? What should be uh, my priority or my um, thought process? <clears throat> What type of meditation is my mind supposed to um, meditate on? So, as, as a, the life of a Jew is basically the idea that um, I, at some point in history, my soul converted to Judaism. And it converted because it decided to um, enter into... A unique relationship with God in order to make the world or to fix the world on an accelerated, accelerated, accelerated level um, which are all the commandments the 613 commandments and um, to be a role model for others uh, which requires more effort and more sacrifices um, and um, a life that is more spiritual um, so th this is well, as a Jew in the morning you wake up and your whole day is about okay anything that I do I have to try to be a role model in what I do and I have to use the 613 commandments to guide me as to infuse every moment of my day with as much holiness and God made something specific that when I do uh, it made a spiritual structure that when I do those 613 commandments because of my soul which when I convert is connected to see those 613 commandments I am bringing down in the world a flow of holiness and it fixes the world um, in most cases unless the person is rotten if the person the Jew is rotten doesn't work on himself he's, he's an evil person and 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 does and does the commandments it doesn't help it helps only if the person is a good hearted and does things with happiness and love and respect people and all that then the 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 fixing works um so that that's the basic idea of the life of a jew now what is the life of no and and the ultimate purpose is to um to reach the point where everything is going to be fixed and um, have the whole world recognize God. Uh, and that, that's the mission of the Jew. So what's the mission of the non-Jew? What's the non-Jew's life about? The non-Jew the non -Jew life is about um, uh, living as a Bnei Noach, a Ben Noach, meaning uh, using the world in a way that it will be uh, most fitting for uh, the the Jew to finish the work, and then, and which means uh, making the world work uh, in a way that it becomes a vessel ready to receive holiness. So uh, a non-Jew has to work on his character traits. Obviously, um, his main focus is let me harmonize and do anything I can uh, in order to um, follow to follow. Um, in, in order to allow the Torah to be fulfilled, also to allow God to be revealed in this world, um, and to do it uh, via the seven commandments, and to try to help the Jew to understand what the Torah um, and the position of the Jew is in the world, and try to work together. The more non-Jew supports the Jew, and facilitate the Jew to do his job, um, the more the partnership is perfect. Uh, it's like body and soul. And again, we're not saying one is greater than the other. It's, the Jew is not greater than the non-Jew, and the non-Jew is not greater than the Jew. It's, it's a partnership. Um, is the husband greater than the wife, or the wife greater than the husband? No, they're both essential and part of, of the team, and each one has its own unique role to play. So the Jew is the non-Jew, and the non-Jew is the Jew. The world cannot be redeemed just with the Jews and the world cannot be redeemed just for the non-Jews. It has to work together and one has a more spiritual work to do. Um, there's a lot of spiritual non-Jews who help others uh, become spiritually aware of the world and, sp and spiritually aware of, of um, 
the concept of Judaism in the world. And uh, I think uh, the, the role of non-Jew is to m learn more and more about what's the message of Judaism um, and uh, work on the character traits and make a world of harmony, um, try to bring peace and justice uh, so that the physical world, society, uh, is increase and become better. So in a way, we, we're both trying to do the world better, one more through through the 613 mitzvot and the more spiritual um, with the learning of Torah, the learning of Torah has its a, a tremendous power uh, that only the Jew can bring. The non-Jew uh, does it more through a physical um, uh, aspect, um, but it doesn't remove the whole spiritual part of the non-Jew. Obviously, a non-Jew can be very spiritual and can meditate and can come very close to God, um, but he cannot bring, bring the full rectification the way the Jew um, is. Um, so this being said, that's uh, a little bit the difference of what we have to have in mind. Uh, every morning each one has to follow his mission, knows his commandments, 613 or 7, and obviously there are many branches and details in each one of them, uh, so it's even though it's the non has only 7, there's, there's much more to uh, discover much more to do than just what the main commandment statement uh, principle is um, and go about one's day and see have I improved myself, have I improved the world around me, have I, have I um, fulfilled those commandments um, and uh, help the world become closer to God, more aware of God's uh, reality. And the more you, as a non-Jew, will support um, uh, Israel and Judaism and a Jew, um, obviously you have to be careful. There are unfortunately Jews who are not, uh, um, not, not good people. They, they, and there's also a concept that by, by Jews, there are Jews who are um, you know, considered the Erev Rav, uh, which are the ones who bring all the evil uh, into the world and into the Jewish people. So, some Jews you don't want to be close to. <laughs> you have to make sure you meet um, a Jew or a rabbi or some someone who is um, pure of heart and has good character traits and knows Torah and can explain to it to you in a way that um, um, it becomes a universal Judaism. Uh, there are not so many out there, but there are some. Uh, so I, I encourage everyone to look for the few individuals and get inspired and guided. And uh, together, let's make the world a better place. Love you all.